Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Quad Day Live from the World Cyber Games 2008. This is Doc Buck and Rotterdam as we bring you the second map of Moon versus TED. Now the Koreans find their flags, <laughs> or but, well, perhaps given their flags. Um, and, um, you know, Rotterdam, your thoughts after uh, Ted's very, very strong performance? Yeah, uh, he played flawless. Uh, Moon really didn't have much chance. Moon took a risk by exploring like that. Uh, yeah, it obviously turned out to be the wrong decision, but it's always easy to say it was the wrong decision after the game is over. Uh, but I think this game is totally different. This, this map makes it much easier for Moon to expand, and Night Elf definitely needs an expand. Here we can see the map coming off the screen right now. Terran stand is a much better map for Moon. I don't think we're going to see Moon for Hero again. Most likely, uh, even though that's what I think, we're going to see the Warden. Warden has been used a lot on this map and it's very effective because Night Elf can creep really easily to level 3 on this map. And having a level 3 Warden early on just gives Night Elf a much better shot. Alright, and for TED, how can he uh, how can he counter the advantage for the Night Elf on this map? Yeah, I'm not sure. Perhaps we're going to see the same strategy as he played before. Well, okay, we're right back. Now we are back again. Sorry for that small interruption. We're not having, any, uh, we're not in control of that. But yeah, I was almost finished with my story anyway. Uh, TD is probably going to play a little bit different than he did first game. I'm not sure if his uh, if his strategy will be as effective as, uh, on this map. I don't think so. But uh, perhaps he can go gargoyles. But I don't think this is the ultimate gargoyle map either. But we will see. What do you make overall in the tournament so far? We've had a lot of upsets. I mean, the fact yeah. that we have uh, Moon and Ted in this stage being the last representative from their country. I mean, uh, how does that uh, change things for you? I mean, is this uh, obviously not what people expected? No, uh, I agree. I also picked for this uh, tournament, I picked a lot of... Uh, I, I thought that Koreans and Chinese would actually, like, at least two of them would be in the top four. Uh, perhaps even three. But uh, no, the European players uh, really stood up. And also by a little bit of bad luck, but still, it, it has been so many surprises. I'm not sure uh, why or how this is possible, but apparently uh, the Koreans and Chinese are not that much better than the top European players. And what about the possibility of one of those old two uh, 4K stalwarts picking up the championship? One of Toto Grubby. Uh, good chances, but since they play against each other in the other quarterfinal right now, uh, yeah. Uh, we're sorry, but we don't have any updates about the score in other games. But uh, yeah, you should definitely check out the WCG website as well. And make sure you can follow all the live scores from the other quarterfinals because we've got some great games, as you said. Todd against Grubby. Also, Lucifron against Hot, which is an amazing game in my opinion. Two players in great shape. Hot always doing well at WCG. Lucifron just has an amazing year. Nothing more to say about it. Almost impossible to predict any of the quarterfinals. We have no real favorite in any of these games. And... Uh, yeah, told against Groby. I don't know. Interesting move here from uh, the goal of Ted now trying to uh, awaken the Creeps to uh, take on this uh, uh, Ancient of War. Really nice move. May well be able to help them out here as uh, they lay down the fire under this Ancient of War. Clever, clever. Will he be able to get the kill before the construction oh, is out? Second wisp. Second wisp tries to lose the Creep away. I think, oh my god, please show the game. <laughs> Here we go now. No, it's, it's going it's down. I think it's going down. Oh and my no god! Help him. Let's go! What a move from DD! Yeah, that is really a great move. I didn't even know that was possible. Something uh, you see very often, but most of the time, Night Elf players are able to save their AC of War. And yeah, with this move, it will be much harder for. You. Oh, and another oh. wisp bill. Oh my god! This game is going really well for TD. Oh. Just with a, a single move. He's a he's a killing machine right now. That one wisp is uh, running for its life as TED's goal oh. goes on its reign of terror. <laughs> yeah, that uh, we saw the uh, the goal early on, but uh, yeah, I didn't thought it would be that much that effective to notice uh, or to tell everyone that the goal is coming. Everyone saw the goal, but I'm not sure. I thought it was just going to try to bother and delay a little bit, but 
I don't think TD even hoped for this. And I mean, of course he practiced it, but I guess that's something that only works sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't work, but it turned out really well. And if it was going to come off, it would be right now, perhaps, right when he needed it, right when he needed to change the uh, the balance of this uh, map and uh, yeah, put actually, the pressure back on Moon. Actually, we see uh, the Demon Hunter as uh, first hero. It's a small surprise, because actually you don't see Demon Hunter that often in... Uh, I mean, of course, you see it often in Night Elf against Undead, but still, this is the match where Night Elf has other options. And certainly on this map, I don't, uh, I don't recall to see too many uh, Demon Hunter first games on Terran Ascent. Uh, yeah, but now things definitely changed. I mean, TD is just looking great so far, even though the game is still young, every, anything can still happen. We also saw an early graveyard, really early on, so we're just going to see a couple of goals like in the last game, and then he's just going to roll out the first fiends probably during the tech. Here we go now as uh, that Death Knight pops its way into uh, the base of Moon. About to join the Demon Hunter as well. Now the three of those uh, Wisps will back up the Demon Hunter as the Death Knight uh, hightails it out of there. Turns on uh, with the uh, Demon Hunter, but the pair of them are uh, not really engaging each other. The DK is still full mana, and I guess the people at home are wondering why why doesn't my, uh, Moon mana burn him right now, because it's possible. But that is because the chances, uh, it's very likely that TD didn't skill that core yet. Oh, the, the, TD saw this uh, town portal, and he out. Uh, probably both players were spamming for the boost of speed right now, but it seems that TD got it. Either he got faster fingers or... Uh, he just got lucky, I think it's the second thing, but TD got the boost of speed and that's uh, also, yeah, we can see actually right now that TD skilled Unholy Aura as first spell and that is why Moon didn't mana burn him, because he know uh, that TD didn't sk uh, skill that core yet, so that no use to burn a um, hero, which uh, is going to pick Aura as first skill, which we can see right now. Here you go, you see the ghouls joining the Death Knight once again and... Uh they will uh, make their way uh, down. This is going to be quite hard for Moon, even though he has the Moon Wells. It's only three arches against several. Oh! oh! Comes in on the oh, Emulation! Oh my god, great! It was not only TD that didn't skill his first... Uh, now coming back for Moon. Oh my oh, god! Moon finds himself in trouble again! Another Emulation. And now... First goal. First goal goes. Falls down. And the uh, archers are uh, using those Moon Wells like, uh, well, like addicts almost. Oh my god, I really love this move, this move of Moon right now. Because most of the time he, you don't burn just because you know that he has unholy aura. But Moon is actually thinking like, if you don't skill, I don't skill either. And he just um, skilled the emulation at the first very moment that he got surrounded. Yeah, amazing. I'm really surprised. That definitely helped him a lot. Because if he would have lost his town portal at this phase of the game, it would have got even worse for him. And uh, this was a great move. Moon gets cut off from his uh, archers there. And now the Death Knight is definitely trying to block that... Uh uh, that Demon Hunter to get him away from those two ghouls that are low on HP. The Death Knight will overtake. We will can see block. a miss, uh, Wisp coming in at the minimap. He's probably going to try to do some blocking again. Oh, and oh it comes off. but the TD self killed his his uh, his ghoul with the DK, which is quite impressive. You can see players. Oh, or did the Demon Hunter get it? Now I'm actually not sure because when I'm looking at XP. But I think uh, TD killed it himself. That's quite nice because the DK got a really low agility, so it's quite hard to time those attacks. Much harder than it is with Blade Master or Demon Hunter. Now you have that Demon Hunter chasing out the uh, Death Knight once again. Second hero is the Panda and Brewmaster. Your thoughts? Uh, yeah, logical pick. It's a quite strong second hero. We will see uh, Moon is offering is trying to creep at level 3 because at level 3 the Breath of Fire is really kicking in against low HP units like Goose and Gargles. But of course TD is going to try to prevent that. And as Actually, TD is going for Gargos on this map and not going for his Fiend Boost like we saw on, on Game 1. And it's, that's going to be interesting to see how this uh, turns out. Now the Death Knight and those two Gargos will uh, take that whip. TD still has zero mana on this uh, DK. It's not a big disaster, but still it's not what he's been uh, hoping for either, I guess. Andrew Brewmaster next to walk out to uh, Creep. If you go down to the woods to Gay, we can see some quality Night of Creeping right here. If people wonder why you can creep with a barracks, well, welcome to Warcraft 3 <laughs> and the yeah. Night Elf race. The two gargoyles are uh, joining the Death Knight and uh, I'm looking to uh, create a bit of uh, problems here as now they will make their way back to Moon's base, focusing on some of the Wisps and uh, really trying to go to work on uh, those Wisps, looking to get themselves, uh, well, do as much damage as they can to the uh, oh, economy. Got, oh, Looks like he's going to get the kill. Does. Okay, he did, but Moon cancelled it, fortunately. Uh, for Moon, so he didn't lose all the gold and he got, um, he didn't lose his wizard either. It would have been really bad for him if he didn't cancel. 
You can see TD actually doing some night nice multitasking here. Quite old school, because uh, we don't see that too often anymore nowadays. So, yeah, it's nice to see some old school Metro multitasking on that creeping. <laughs> TD is uh, really, really bringing his uh, top form to this one as now those uh, Gargoyles go to work on the Demon Hunter whilst the Ghouls are uh, on the top left of the map doing uh, death. Oh, actually, creeping. we can. Oh no, that's just an illusion. Moon is uh, sending an, an illusion of his Pandaren Brewmaster to us, oh, Demon Hunter illusion, to the base of TD to see what's going on right there. Now the. Uh, uh, Demon Hunter's made his way back to one of those uh, to the base and uh, healed up. Both players are really multitasking to the mess. We can see Moon actually with his army and his Demon Hunter. Oh, Moon loses one right. Yeah. He was probably checking out this creep camp because the Pandaren Brewmaster is creeping right there again with the barracks. I mean, it's uh, wonderful what one barracks can do for your race. But oh, you should watch out. Oh, that's bad from Moon. The Asian of War got the final hit on the creep right there, and that is where the multitasking took its toll from Moon. Uh, Moore, of course, a great player, and that shouldn't happen because he needs that experience. Oh. Let's hope it doesn't happen again for him. Oh, the Gargoyles, Gargoyles try to steal it, but Moon using his breath of fire to prevent that. And the archers come in to back up that uh, Pandra Brewmaster from the Gargoyles. Oh. I really like this game so far. We are, I'm at least what I'm used from under against Night Elvis that we're going to see a lot. That normally the games are evolving quite slow, and things are going slow, and players are resting but never fighting. But this game is quite action packed. Both players really doing two, even three things on the same moment all the time, and that's making the game quite interesting so far. That now we will see. Uh, the TD, uh, yeah, TD attacking to tier three right now, adding the slaughter eyes, of course, for the statues first, and probably abominations later again, killing another wisp. Uh, yeah, maybe another wisp? No. Those gargoyles are uh, really going to work here. Oh, that one gargoyle is not going to... Oh, low HP. really low HP wisp, but that, that uh, gargoyle is probably going to fall, or is it going to escape? It would be nice if all the cameramans are going to look at the wrong part of them. I'm not sure. Okay, but I think it fall down, actually, if I saw the minimap right. Okay, anyway. No, I don't think it, that's probably the one. There's someone's clenched fist. <laughs> Demon Hunter taking damage again. Uh, I mean, uh, that night taking like quite low HP right now. But of course, he has good speed, so he has nothing too much to worry about. I'm not sure where that gargoyle is going. It's probably going oh, to the rest of death wish. Oh, TD using his own gargoyle to self kill the gargoyle. Uh, his own nice gargoyle save. to make sure that the Pandaren is not going to get the experience. Uh, this player is really taking every small thing to the max and make sure they don't give any presents. Great go. This, g this game has a really high quality so far. Now we have uh, Andrew Brimont going out to creep with its uh, illusion and uh, yeah. will uh, make his way up towards that top right, oh well, middle right uh, base. You can see his, his illusion taking all the damage so it's making sure that his Pandaren doesn't, doesn't get low in HP. The gargoyles are quite close, the Demon Hunter is running away down. The Dead Knight is probably wondering where Moon is right now and he's probably going to go there anytime soon but he will be too late and he won't be too happy when he sees that the Pandaren hit level 3 right now which is really important for Spirit Moon. And there's quite a lot of Dryads there as well. <laughs> and it's really funny to see the uh, Wisp moving with the entire army. That's not because he needs them in the fight, that's just, just because he doesn't want to leave them behind in his base because the Gargoyles will kill them off. Did, no, he didn't hit. Yeah, he hit quite some with that Breath of Fire. But the bad thing for Moon is right now that he is lacking uh, wood and he's definitely looking uh, for for an expansion anytime soon probably hoping to get a tree of life off but he doesn't have the mood uh, doesn't have the wood he has 638 48 50 old, 58 gold quite a lot of gold but only 31 uh, lumber and that's just not enough here we go moon with a brief offensive into uh, enemy territory now taking on the death knight here which is uh Got Low on HP and he doesn't have any town portal, so he has to watch out if he wants to get his Death Knight uh, back in his base, he has to watch out and make sure that he does it on the right moment. Because the Dryads can also slow heroes. And, uh, now those Dryads okay. are going to work on the Death Knight. The Death Knight is uh, getting healed up, but it's in, uh, in a bit of a problem Low here as the two of them go to it. The Death Knight has uh, just 200 points to help, a little bit more, but Focusing takes the more demon damage. Hunter. And the Demon Hunter could fall here! The demon Hunter Using the Great up. Healing Potion, and the Death Knight is in big trouble right now, it's going to be a breath of fire! Oh, oh my god! He, the Death Knight fire went to the right, they killed the Gargoyles, the Death Knight's still standing, barely, as uh, Why? now the Dryads go to work on some of those Gargoyles. The Death Knight on the top right of your okay. picture has so little hurt, HP, and a TP has been called. Oh my god, I was sure that Brother Fire would have reached the DK and I don't understand why Moon didn't try. Maybe Moon thought it didn't reach, maybe I'm wrong, but I definitely thought that that would be the end of the DK right there. But he instead tried to 
uh, use it on a lot of cargoes. I mean, it wasn't a bad breath of fire, but you're not able to kill on that units and on that base with a statue healing it up and the under the R of the Dead Knight. There is so much HP and regeneration, and no, this is just uh, not enough to kill a lot of unit, uh, units. And as we saw, <laughs> that's the right lightning shield is quite dangerous for the ghost. But uh, no, he didn't kill a lot of units right there. No, yeah. that was a really close call. <laughs> yeah, was out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> As uh, now we have those uh, Dryads and Archers going to work on these creeps with the uh, Demon Hunter joining the fun. Oh, Drushot Ara, great item for Moon right there. Giving bonus damage to all his Dryads and his uh, Archers. Now we have those uh, Gargoyles joining up as they will uh, fly across and now go to work on one of those Dryads. Oh, that Dryad just lost off its health in one foul swoop. Now should go down. Oh, oh Moon just Bell escapes. saving it in time. Will the Dryad, will the Gargoyle stay for it? Oh. One last hit. Oh, one one HP. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Away goes that dry, uh, that gargoyle. There comes the dead call. And here comes the reinforcements. Oh, DK has to watch out. And now those. Uh, oh, that's going to be a nice breath of fire if he's going to take it. Ah, he took it a little bit too late. And uh, another one of those gargoyles escapes with one, one point eight. of health. Yeah, as we know, poison units, uh, poison can't kill units anymore. They used to be able to a long, long time ago, but Blizzard changed that. So the units will. You will see often units going down to 1 HP because of the extra potion damage with Orb of Venom basically taking any unit to 1 HP because it's quite a strong item and the Dryad Poison so you will see a lot of 1 HP units but it won't kill them. Right. How does TED uh, stem the tide of uh, Moon's strength? Right now this game is quite even but still it's... Oh, Dead Knight having a lot of XP. I think another gargoyle fell down right here. As we know, in the last patch, uh, the, the XP that Dryads gave to heroes, uh, or yeah, to heroes, because heroes are the only thing. Will that gargoyle fall down? No, it won't. Got increased from 40 XP to 60 XP, and that's quite a lot, quite a big change. We can actually see the Tree of Life uh, being up right there. I'm not sure if TD scouted it, but he probably did. If not, he probably knows about it, because he knows Moon needs it. Um, but yeah, the Dryads gave 60 XP. Oh, another gargoyle. Will it fall down? Yeah, TD is getting quite sloppy right here. Early on, he didn't make any mistakes, but now he made quite some, losing quite some gargles here and there, and yeah, that's not what he needs. And we can see the DK actually already close to level five. And if we get to level five, then it, things are going to get ugly for Moon, because that's just going to be strong hero nuke. Oh, we're going to see a backstep right here, maybe. Here we go. We come the gargles to uh, take on those dryads. One of them down to half health, but the dryads return and uh, drop down one of the ghouls. As uh, now the Vic goes to work on. Uh, one of those dryads which should fall on the end, it hasn't yet, as those gargoyles still try to finish off the drop of those dryads, and they've actually get many kills at all, and the gargoyles are already taking demon damage out, demon out, the demon out, demon out out demon out Oh my god! 130 points of health, and uh, should be able to escape if he fights his way out of this, as uh, still oh fighting gets one away, another archer goes down, and that'll call for a TB, as uh, he gets out of there with what, 150 points of health. Oh my god, that was really crazy and well done by Moon. His demon hunter got surrounded by a lot, or not, maybe it didn't get surrounded, but at least was 70 or 80 percent, it got surrounded by ghouls. Then he turned on immolation and the bread of fire came over it. And I think five, six, seven ghouls uh, instant died to that combination of immolation and bread of fire. Uh, well, that was painful for TAD. He re definitely needed the healing spell right there, didn't have it. Lost a lot of his ghouls. Oh, we can actually see the first frostworm came out right there. And. Uh, Frost Worm not very effective against Riots, but since the uh, Riots are anti-magic damage and Frost Worm attack is magic, but uh, Riot, uh, Frost Worms are great to kill heroes. And now we're going to see uh, whether uh, he is able to uh, stop that expansion as well. Oh, the statue is going to get blocked right here and it's probably going to fall down to a Breath of Fire. Or no, he doesn't need a Breath of Fire. Yeah. Good, uh, good control of Riots right there by Moon. Closing in the path with his Riots. Riots are really fast and they got in front of the statue, which made the statue unable to escape. Oh, <laughs> Moon using dust to kill up. And here we go, the gargoyles coming on in, looking to uh, creep jack if they can. Oh, the demon oh. of the instant died. Wow, what a shot. Out goes the demon. Dead knight, dead knight, dead knight, dead knight. Death knight will uh, run for all it's got, but he surely oh. can't escape. And it's a hero down each. And, now uh, the lich is a huge trouble, because when the dead knight dies, the lich will die too anytime soon. 
Breath of fire, breath of now fire. The, the Lich is running for all its oh, no mana. Giants continue to fire now, but the Lich is losing health left, right, and center. Fight back for mana. Fight as, they, as even the creeps are going towards A little bit of more mana needed. Oh, slow. No, oh. the Lich is getting away right now. Well, just oh, come, come back no. for more. Why? Comes back for more. Oh. The Breath of oh, Fire God. takes it down to next to no HP. That Lich is surely going to fall. The Lich will just not run away. Oh, my God. As the Pandaren the first worm, the first worm is the Pandaren gonna fall right now. Oh the my god, Ryan's coming in. The Pandaren oh, oh, oh 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 Lich survived! The Lich survived! The Lich survived! The Lich work on The Lich The Lich survived! The Lich survived! The Lich survived! The Lich survived! The Lich The Lich survived! The Lich Oh my god, and this just turned into a Starcraft match. <laughs> We can see the Dryads coming. <laughs> oh my god. The Dryads there rule the map. That was <laughs> incredible by Moon. This Demon Hunter loss was sloppy. I'm not sure if he had healing potions or not, but level 5 DK and Nova just instant killed the Demon Hunter. But then he really took the maximum out of his Lich control. That Abomination is gonna fall. There's no way for that Abomination to escape. The Lich on incredible low HP, but he managed to kill off a full Pandaren Brewmaster with the Frostworm, also called by the WCT community, the flying lich, because every time it shoots, it slows hero like the liches are able to do with Frost Nova. Oh my god, I can't believe what he did there, right there. It was almost sure that he was gonna lose his lich, but while losing his lich, he took down the Pandaren Blues Master. But Moon actually having uh, a lot of gold because of his expansion, just bought the Pandaren back right there. Wow. And uh, things are gonna be very hard for TD to still win this game, but. Either way, that was incredible. Either way, he's giving it his all. He's given all he's got now as the uh, Dryads continue to hunt out the uh, creeps and uh, clear out. And that Panda and Brewmaster will uh, reap the rewards of that. How much is this expansion playing on things now? Yeah, the, ex the expansion is for incredible value of Moon right here. It basically means that TED has to, as soon as he is able to, or he's going to bank in low upkeep. I'm not sure how TED is going to play things, but yeah. I mean, expansion is what thing, expansion is what moons need, and on this moment, he, you could say that he's just in control of things. Demon Hunter back right as well. Yeah, uh, the Demon Hunter actually had the greater healing potion, but he just didn't use it in time. Uh, level five DK. That's just because of the experience change in Dryads. Normally, there was no way that the DK would have level five so fast, but killing off a few Dryads early on definitely helped him to get level five so fast. Level three that call amazing to kill heroes. So, let's take stock. TED still has that first map in the bank. Moon, perhaps in the ascendancy here, to uh, yeah. to try and pull it back to 1-1, but there's still a lot of Warcraft to be played, and if necessary, we'll then go to a decided map. You're yeah. on Quad V, www.quadv.com, with top bottom Rotterdam. We can see right now Moon actually got an anti-magic potion on his, uh, on his Demon Hunter, so it will survive a little bit longer. You will be un unable to cast Cold Nova or... Uh, uh, no Core Nova, that's uh, not the right, that's how Warcraft play is called, but of course it's that call or Frost Nova, but you won't be able to call, uh, cast any of those on the hero while it's, uh, while it used his anti-magic potion, and that will be able, that will g give Moon the chance to get an extra mana burn or to up on the, probably the Dead Knight first, and if the Dead Knight has no more mana to core, then things are looking very good for Night Elf. Well, right now we find ourselves in a Tricky situations. One of those dryads, two of those dryads are right now back, healed up. Could see those moonwells. And, uh, now that frostworm will uh, also heal up as the uh, lich rejoins the fight. Actually, Ted is not going to bank. He's just going to push straight away. We can see he's over 55, uh, 55 foot right now. That means he's not in low up, uh, not in upkeep anymore, but just entered low upkeep. Probably will produce one or two more units, and then he's going out. We can actually see on the move, mini map right now that he is moving out. Moon is actually having bears right now. Uh, probably gonna cast some renovation on his heroes during the fight. Moon is in control of things right now, but these meat wagons might make things really ugly. Oh, Frostworm and four abominations might actually give Moon a slight uh, uh, gift here. Okay, chance. Here we go. The Frostworm takes on the demon under the demon under. Okay. in trouble. Already lost half of its health. Here comes the fire from the meat wagons. The A-box chasing it. Cast out. renovation, please, Moon. Okay, there finally the renovation comes up. I don't like the moment. Moon used his anti-magic potion, but... But here we go, those A-bombs are right in the thick of things as uh, the Panda Brewmaster takes the main of that fire. We do have the uh, 
Demon Hunter looking in better shape, some of those A-bombs are not looking quite so good, it's like they're in really low health, as one of them goes chasing him, the Panda yes, 3 is down to half health as the first A-bomb falls, there's another one about to, in fact, all three of them may go there, falls as well though, and so we go oh. tip tat here, two more A-bombs go, and we went from four to, to none, as all of those A-bombs are gone. And Demon now, Hunter, Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter is trying to work, work his way through all. Using his great healing potion. Now we have uh, that death like continuing to chase out that uh, Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter is on low health. One of those big wax is about to fall as well. Go. Oh, Panarin and Bruce Buster. Panarin Bruce Buster. Panarin Bruce Buster. Trust me. TP. Give the TP to Panarin. And quickly try to find Oh my god, it falls. falls down. And oh, can you believe it? Now we have the Lich and the Death Knight versus the Demon Hunter and four Dryads. Moon is going to try to block the Demon Hunter, the DK, but he's not able to. I can't believe why why Moon didn't transfer the time port. Oh my god. And here we Demon go. Demon Hunter is in all sorts of trouble. Down to 140. DK, 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 DK that's in trouble. Oh. The Demon Hunter also oh goes to falling. The Demon Hunter okay. chasing out and will get away. The Death Knight oh. falls at the end. Death Knight falls and TD comes. GG. Oh my god. What a game. And GED takes it, I'm uh, sorry, and Boom takes it, pulls it back to one punt, and that game perhaps had absolutely everything. This was, oh my god, I was speechless, I think every caster is speechless right now, what a game. I mean, you can say that Moon was in control of things, but this game had so many close moments, I, I mean, TD got the maximum out of some situation, even in the end, I mean, uh, some mistakes, but I said it earlier in my earlier cast, mistakes makes great games and that is what we saw right now. And from that point, I mean, at the beginning we saw some true high-class multitasking to uh, completely manage the, the entire map in several places at once. Then you see them going at it at the end with the uh, heroes literally forming left, right and center. Yeah. What a game. Unbelievable. All the heroes fell down on the given moment. We just had some moments. But that is where the moment, uh, that is the moment where Moon his expansion paid off so much. Moon was just able to rebuy his moment, his uh, heroes in the tavern, and make sure that he was ready for the next fight earlier than TAD was. Uh, able to produce a little bit of more units. Oh my god, what a game. Right, we're gonna move straight on to this third map, no break. Here it is for you. Our third and final map is Secret Valley. Rotterdam, what do you think? Uh, Secret Valley is a good map for Undead against Night Out, so things change right now. Uh, things looking good for TAD in the start of that. A lot of, I know that a lot of German Undead players, uh, such as Hasselhoff, really love this map against Night Help because Undead player can use Gargos really well. I think we got, might better see Gargos again, but on this map it's actually possible for Undead to expand as well. And the moment Undead get an expansion in that matchup, the things change again and Undead is in control. So, so do I dare ask you for a prediction? Uh, I'm going to stick to my prediction and say that TED is going to take this best for three, but... <laughs> anything can happen, really anything can happen. I'm really curious about Moon's hero pick. Perhaps he's gonna go for the be Demon Hunter again. Actually, I hope he's gonna go for Demon Hunter again, because it seems that Beastmaster just doesn't work anymore in this matchup. I can't recall the, di the days that I saw Beastmaster being successful in this matchup, so I hope he's going for Demon Hunter. If not, I hope he's going for Warden. Just don't go Beastmaster. All right, we're gonna take a momentary break here when we come back. We will see the grand, the last map of TED Moon.